most sexy people of Winnipeg. Yes! Hello, everyone else. Uh, like, uh, like a lot of Canadian entertainers, I, I do have a day job uh, to make ends meet. Unlike a lot of Canadian entertainers, I have a good day job. <laughs> I am a small animal vet during the day. I know. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, I, uh, I pretty much kill cats for a living. <laughs> that, is, that is what I do. A lot of cats. I've killed a lot of cats, people. That's what I'm trying to say. Like an alarming number of cats. <laughs> and surprisingly, it gets to you. <laughs> After a little while. I actually took last year off, because I was like, I can't, I can't do it, I can't. I cannot kill another cat. So I, I took a year off, I got all centered, it was great, and I went back all relaxed. And for the first two weeks, all I did was kill people's cats. <laughs> Because my clients waited for me to come back. <laughs> the, uh, the other reason I had to take time off is that people are stupid. <laughs> oh god, I had to diagnose nipples again last week. That's always fun. I do it once a month. And it's fine. If you don't know what a nipple is, that's fine. But don't argue with me. I'm the expert. This guy brings in his dog. He's like, oh, he's, uh, he's got this lump on his belly. I'm like, okay. And, uh, and he doesn't like it when I touch it. I'm like, all right. And now it's getting all red and crusty. I'm like, okay, show me the lump. That is a nipple, my friend. <laughs> and he refused to believe me. He's like, no, no, it's not a nipple. I'm like, no, it's totally a nipple. I... It's like, no, I, I Googled it. It's cancer. Well, I'm very sorry to disappoint you, but your dog is going to be fine. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's not a nipple. I'm like, it's totally a nipple. He's like, well, why doesn't he like it when I touch it? I'm like, I don't know. Stop touching your dog's nipples. What's wrong with you? People are dumb. We've also had this fun thing that's been happening recently where people are getting us confused with a human hospital. Usually a language barrier. Uh, some old Ukrainian man came in, he's like, oh, my back. I'm like, yeah. He's like, it hurts. I'm like, yeah, it looks like it does. He's like, help. I'm like, no. <laughs> Sorry, old man, can't help you. I can put you down. Pretty much it. <laughs> oh. And now I've been getting asked uh, medical questions, like human medical questions. I'm like, I, I don't know anything about people. That was the one species we didn't cover. <laughs> like, <laughs> we did everything else. <laughs> And I, I was putting this, another old man, putting this old man's cat back into the carrier. I turn around and he has dropped his pants. <laughs> like, okay, uh, is this my tip? Because <laughs> I'm not interested. He wanted to show me a lesion on his inner thigh. <laughs> yeah, ew. He's like, what do you think of this, huh? What do you think of this, doc? Like, what do I think? I think it's highly inappropriate. Put your pants back on. <laughs> Stop licking it, it'll be fine. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm, uh, I'm also trying to be a little, a little more environmentally conscious these days. So I was talking to a friend and she's like, oh, you could just do little things. I'm like, oh, okay, I like doing little things. I can be lazy. She's like, you know, like, like, turn off the lights when you leave the room and, and don't run the water when you brush your teeth. I'm like, okay, perfect. And, she's, and if you really want to be all environmentally conscious, you should switch to one-ply toilet paper. <laughs> I'm like, oh, really? Uh, you should go screw yourself. What are you, <laughs> one-ply toilet paper? That is the worst. And I have had my share of bad toilet paper. 
Like, I, I was born in Ottawa, but I, I spent most of my youth growing up in Africa. I know. It was fun. African toilet paper is terrible. Like, it has, sh like, shards of wood in it. You can get splinters from the toilet paper. I'm like, this is not paper. You've given me a tree. This is not done yet. So when I buy toilet paper, all I care about is how soft it is. So I, I judge it by the pictures on it. It's like, okay. I always, I always pick the one with kittens. My kittens are soft. Yeah, they're not, they're not gonna lie to me about that. And then I'm looking at this picture of the kittens. I'm like, well, if I really wanna be all environmentally conscious, It's a good idea, stick with me. <laughs> why don't we just cut out the middlemen and why don't we just use kittens, guys? <laughs> oh, it's such a good idea. Just a little litter of kittens, you know, in a basket next to the toilet. You grab one, you clean yourself off, you put it back. It cleans itself off. <laughs> Thank you so much, Winnipeg. You guys have been a ton of fun. Have a good night.